Here's what I really think about Switch Sports. Switch Sports has finally launched on the Nintendo Switch and I've been waiting for this game forever because I'm a massive fan of Wii Sports. I absolutely love that. I still play it now on the Wii U and yeah, just, just love it. So when Switch Sports was announced, I was super hyped, super hyped. And now it's here and I've been playing it all weekend pretty much like nonstop. So uh, here's what I think about it. So currently the games that you get, you get badminton, tennis, volleyball, chambara, football or soccer if you're in the US and of course bowling. So straight up, I'm gonna say all the games worked excellently. There's no issues with the gyro at all that I experienced. Games like Chambara, you have to actually like uh, recenter the gyro every game, which is good. So it forces you before you even enter the match to like press forward and press Y or whatever. And then it will like, you know, centers the gyro for you each match, which is good. So it's always on top of the ball there. Didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. I actually found all the games really fun as well. I mean, they're really easy to get the hang of. Every game gives you a tutorial for the first time just to like kind of tell you how to play it essentially. And that's pretty cool. I mean, the most complex one I'd say is football or soccer because you actually run around the pitch freely and you can control the camera and everything and there's loads of different moves which is actually really fun. I really enjoyed the tutorial with the fact that you can like kick the ball up at like different targets and stuff just to get used to like how you kick the ball, how to jump kick and all that good stuff. I've never been a football fan. I'm just not a football fan. It was never my thing even when I was a kid at school and whatever. I just, I'm not a football fan, I'm just not. But football on Switch Sports is actually really fun. Even Christina said the same thing and she's not a football fan either. And we both found ourselves gravitating to football because it's just really fun. Like it, it is fun. I mean, the matches are super short when you're online, but they are like very fun. As long as you've got players on your team that aren't just like rubbish. <laughs> and because I got the physical version, well, I got the leg strap. So the leg strap's really easy to use. Just slide the Joy-Con in and then strap it around your leg. And then you can play Shootout. And that's not online. It's like either local or just like, you know, single player style. But that's really fun as well. So all you do is you just basically kick the ball, you've got to kick it into the goal. So someone kicks you the ball and then you just have to boot it in the goal. And it's really good. I do really enjoy that. I can't wait to see how they implement this feature into like other aspects of the football later on with like updates and stuff. I think it's actually going to be quite fun using that. So you've got three different modes essentially. You can play online alone or with a friend locally. So you can do two player split screen online or you can just do local multiplayer offline, or you can do online with friends far away. So that's, I guess, from your like friends list. I didn't test this one out because, well, I don't think I had anyone that was actually playing this, but I did play online and local multiplayer as well. But of course you can create your character and choose a me. So yes, I know loads of people have been hating on this game with a lack of me's, but personally, I quite like the new designs. Don't shoot me. And of course you can use me's. You just have to create them in your Switch first. And then when you open the game, well then you you could like load your me in. So the option is there. So, you know, if you enjoy me's, well then you can still use them. So let me go over like the points thing, like the whole online thing where you can rack up stuff and unlock accessories. Playing online gives you points per game with multipliers if you do well or execute like certain moves. And once you get a hundred points, you can unlock a random item from two different sets currently. So you've got the simple set or the cute set, which is currently available and unlocking all items in the set gives you an outfit bonus as well. So each game, it gives you around 30 to 40 points kind of minimum but bowling if you're good at it you can actually get over a hundred points in one game so this is probably the best way of doing it however chambara is quick matches so you know you could potentially get more points from that if you get through the matches very quickly because bowling takes quite a while but you can net a lot of points via bowling like well over a hundred points now this is the uh, like kind of stinger here. So you must have Nintendo Switch online to unlock the simple set. So the simple set, you need a paid Nintendo Switch Online account to unlock this, right? You have to have that. If you don't have Nintendo Switch Online, well then you can still unlock stuff from the cute set. So you need Nintendo Switch Online to unlock the simple set and then the cute set you can get without Nintendo Switch Online. However, if you don't have Nintendo Switch Online, you can play trial mode online, which is against the computer, which is kind of annoying. And also you're limited to unlocking only two items per week. So that's it, you're kind of limited. You're not gonna get all of the items from those sets, essentially, because you can only get two a week and these sets kind of revolve every like, 
10 days or something like that. It's like pretty much once a week, then they rotate and you could potentially miss out on items if you don't have Nintendo Switch online. So it's gonna be frustrating for you because you won't be able to play online properly, like against real people, because you'll be doing the trial mode, which is again, computers and you'll only get two items a week, so you're gonna miss out, and it's random as well. So the items are randomized. You can't choose from that block. It's like, you know, you click on it and it kind of scrolls through and then chooses one for you. However, if you've got Nintendo Switch Online or the expansion pack, well then you can get all of the items and there's no cap on how many you can unlock by like per week. So I actually unlocked all of the items on both sets in a matter of ba basically a day. So, I mean, we played over the weekend, but it wasn't all day every day. But yeah, we unlocked all of these sets. Now, Christina didn't have Nintendo Switch Online, and of course she got her two items, and then it said, sorry, that's all you can have. So we actually went and bought her Nintendo Switch Online so that she could actually get these items and play online properly. So, you know, that's something to consider. Oh, and the last thing about the unlocks, it is random as well. Not everyone gets the exact same items. So Christina actually had different items on her base set, her simple set and cute set to the ones I had. So she had like a different beard type, she had different titles, a, a different like racket, or she ended up getting a ball, whereas I got a racket and stuff like that. So it does actually differ. You're not going to be getting the exact same stuff as absolutely everybody. And that's why you'll see some people with different items than you is because it seems to be like random per person, which is actually quite nice. Now, single player online will eventually unlock the pro league. So starting at rank E, you can work your way up. Now this can be paused in the settings menu if you want more casual play though. So you can actually opt out of playing in the pro league if you don't like want to do that. But if you want to, well then, you know, you've got that. The one thing that's really annoying though, and it kind of annoyed me a little bit, is you cannot access the pro league when you're playing two player online. So when you're playing split screen online, you can't access the pro league. Now I understand that because you might be playing with a child that's not very good and you might be very good and you might be like well in the pro league and they just can't get there because they're not good enough, right? So I understand it, but Christina and I, well, we're evenly matched. So we should both be able to do it. So we both played single player mode just to get into the pro league. And well, we're at the same pro league level, right? But when you play online, co-op online, so split screen online, well, you, you can't access the pro league at all, even though we're at the same ranking. So that's kind of annoying. So we had to like, you know, opt out of playing together to play single player to be able to get into the pro league. So we basically just didn't bother. We just kept playing together online because that's what we want to do, right? We want to play co-op online, which is how we unlocked everything in each set. But, you know, that, that's the reason why I haven't got pro league on everything because you have to play single player to be able to unlock the Pro League, right? So if you're planning on playing co-op and getting into the Pro League, that's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to play it single player. So that's my like kind of biggest annoyance. But again, like I said, I do understand it, but I think if you're already at the same league together and it kind of knows that you're at the same evenly matched kind of like, playing level, well then I think you should still be able to opt in to the Pro League together. Or maybe they should implement like team Pro Leagues, do you know what I mean? Like make a separate Pro League for co-op. So instead of one person being judged, it's your collective score. Like I think you should be able to play in teams together so that you can go forward together. Do you know what I mean? So instead of like just me being in the Pro League and then maybe Christina not being or vice versa, we join as a team and our collective score, it's like two of us versus another two versus another two. Cause you can only play two player co-op online. So, you know, you can't play more than that. You can locally, you can play with more players, but like if you go online, it's two people maximum. So I think they should do like teams where two people can join as a team and play bowling as a team and your collective score goes against two other people, two other people, two other people, and vice versa. I think that should be the way that they could implement uh, the pro league going forward for people like me and Christina, which are pretty much always gonna be playing this together because otherwise we're now missing out on the pro leagues essentially, unless one of us forces ourselves to go away and the other can play it. Because, you know, I, I that's the only kind of annoyance I have. But other than that, online play, we didn't have a problem. Now our internet is a little bit janky here. We live in an old house. The router is way down below 
blow us and you know, you know it's just a bit funky we only had one disconnect and i'm pretty sure that's probably our fault not the nintendo service fault and we played this solidly all weekend and i reckon pretty much everyone else was as well so we didn't have any like server crashes or anything like that to be honest the only thing that was a bit weird that happened was kind of like a, an animation glitch when playing online and playing bowling and you're spectating other people. Sometimes their arms would like twist the ball around themselves and then throw it. And it was like very rare, but to be honest, it was so funny that we just loved it anyway. It wasn't like annoying or anything. I kind of like it. Kind of wish they don't fix that. I hope they keep that because it's just so funny watching people like doing random stuff. So since it's just launched, do I recommend it? Well, yes, yes, I recommend Switch Sports. I really, really enjoy it, but I am biased because I loved Wii Sports so much and Switch Sports to me, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. Like we we were playing it the entire weekend and we loved it. We, we didn't want to take a break either. And the game says, you've been playing for an hour. Do you want to take a break? And we're just like, no, no, no. You know, we just were set on getting all of those item sets. And of course we've got them all now and now we have to wait like until next week until we can unlock more. But I don't think that's gonna stop us playing it because it is just fun. But once you've unlocked everything, well then that's it. You don't rack up points anymore. But do I recommend it? Yes, yes I do. And I, I think it's a good price as well because it's not a full price game. It is cheaper and well, the leg strap thing is pretty cool. So if you can get it physically, well then I would recommend getting it physically. If not, you can just download it on the store and it is cheaper that way. Uh, so there you go. Now, if you haven't seen it already, well, we've got a video about the Skull & Co Neo Grip Go and check this video out if you find you get a bit of like hand cramp or the switch is uncomfortable in portable mode, like handheld play. Well, go and check out this grip because that could solve your issues. It's very cool. It's inexpensive. And well, we go through everything and more in this video. So go and check this video out now. Do it. Oh, and subscribe as well. Make sure to subscribe first and then check this out.